Barbershops are the linchpin of the community. That's where guys go to talk. That's where you see, you know, the politics of, of the day. It all happens in the barbershop. I think some men need that because they have no outlet. We want to empower that as much as we can. Squire Technologies is a platform that allows barbershop owners and barbers to manage their uh, businesses more effectively. I have been a barber for about 28, 29 years now, and I've followed in the footsteps of my, my father, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather. I've not shout with you yet, Dad. <laughs> Is he a, what an entrance. You know, learning off my father, he was just a, a master at it. He could deal with every single walk of life. We've been a big part of uh, the city centre and Sheffield, and we've become a little bit of an institution, I would say. You know, we changed all our barbershops to appointments instead of a walk-in business, because that's the first time that's happened in over 100 years. My brother and myself were worried. We just couldn't see some of the older clients jumping on board with this at all, but we've completely been proved wrong. I would say 95% feedback has been amazing. And we get clients saying to us, why didn't you do this years ago? Barbershop owners were cobbling together with several pieces of software to do exactly what Squire does. We have services from payroll to online booking to CRM. One of the ideas we have going, you know, is predictive haircuts. And we're working on an intelligent AI and machine learning platform built on AWS that allows folks to predict when it's your optimal time to get a haircut. If you forget to get a haircut, you know, once you push it out by a week, and over a year, that's probably one or two less haircuts that you would have received and brought revenue to the barber. Oh, oh, oh. Amir's, Amir's mashed up his hair. Oh, what have you done? Live what? in 4K. <laughs> look, look, look. Something about the barbershop that you can't get anywhere else. Feeling is an emotion, that like you're able to give that haircut to someone and make them feel good, as well as the client is like, yeah, this is mad, like, I like this trim. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I believe that we now are like the new age of barbers. We're, when we're able to give them that, they're able to like show the world, it's like flaunting that the confidence is through the roof. Technology has helped our business so much. When we first started, or when I was doing barbering, I had my phone and I'd be answering the phone calls, booking in appointments, and I was finding it so difficult. I'd done it for such a long time. Something that I found, which was Squire, all you have to do is just book online or through an app, and it comes up straight away. It's so simple. The clients get a text message. We get a text message. We can control um, what time we're working, when we're not working, the days we have off. It's like a hands-free sort of device that just helps with all of our needs and all of our business. It regulates stuff. People can pay online as well. It's like taking Barber into the future. Barbers are artists. Uh, they really are super passionate about what they do. I think owners have to straddle that artistic enablement as well as the business uh, savvy to keep the business going in the right direction. I feel like when I'm around the team from Squire, I do pick up loads of different things. That's not just the art form of barbering. It's like the actual, like the, the core side, the fundamentals of being a businessman. You're able to learn from people that might have, they might have 10 salons. You're like, whoa, how do you do that? You know, my grandfather would have had to change and adapt to the business. And then when my father came in and took over the business, he would have had to change and adapt it massively. I would say it's about looking at what you've got and making sure that you improve, uh, always trying to improve things, but not forgetting where we've come from. It's almost like history repeating itself or has repeated itself. And I would say if my son or daughter decide to take over, then they'll want to change everything that we do because we always know best, don't we? I'm all for, you know, entrepreneurship and I'm all for, you know, for helping folks out, specifically small business because they are, small business in particular, are, are, are the lifeblood blood of, of the economy and it's what keeps the economy going. One of the great things up here, I hear is like, now I can spend more time with my family. Now that I can open another business, now I can save a little bit of money because I'm opening my second or third location. That was not possible without Squire. And those stories and that, and that sentiment makes this all worthwhile. <laughs>